Yes, uh, it, it did indeed. Uh, my uh, linguistics training, um, it, <laughs> I wasn't intending to write a computer language when I took the linguistics training. Um, it was really, uh, my wife and I were actually intending to be uh, uh, missionaries, so it was very uh, practical linguistics in terms of uh, field linguistics. We were going to go out and uh, learn a language that had not been written before and uh, uh, produce a writing system for it and, and do translations into the language. But um, uh, I developed a bunch of health uh, issues uh, that uh, prevented me from doing that. And um, so uh, instead, uh, I went on into industry and used uh, some of my co computer skills. Uh, but my interest has always been in the way languages work. And I had written compilers before uh, uh, Perl. And so when the, the time came that, um, um, that uh, I had a problem that I couldn't solve with any of the tools I already had, um, I just said, well, I can do better than that. So uh, I took some of the ideas that I had used in my uh, previous languages, and I took ideas from other languages, and I shoved them all together in, in one spot. And uh, uh, I, uh, then I decided, well, I, you know, I, this isn't just for myself. I like it if other people use what I do. So I, I sent it out, and uh, other people liked it too. And it just grew from there. But uh, the design all along has been um, to pull things together in, in almost a random way, the way a natural language is. You know, the English pulls stuff from, from Viking and French and Anglo-Saxon and, and what have you, uh, even a little Japanese here and there, uh, skosh. But um, uh, the way a, a natural language is put together like that uh, always fascinated me. And so I... am. Uh, uh, interested in in uh, not not in a shallow linguistic sense, you know, the old COBOL language sort of had stock phrases and you plugged things into it. That was sort of cargo cult natural language. But um, Perl is more on a deep fundamental level. How do people use language? How do they expect it to uh, to be extended? How um, how it will evolve over time? Uh, who gets to contribute to the, the, the changes in the language. Um, all these on a deep level, uh, Perl is much more like a natural language than most computer languages. Um, human languages tend to be much more ambiguous than um, computer languages because uh, humans are, are much smarter about uh, interpreting the context. Um, so there is a scale of how much um, a computer language resembles human language in primarily based on uh, how much context is involved. If there's, there's very little context, it's very literally, uh, it, there's, there's some computer languages that are, are like that. Uh, and then other languages know a little bit more about uh, you know, what has been uh, stated earlier in the program or what the immediate surroundings are in the program. And Perl kind of takes this to more of an extreme, um, not, not as far as human languages, because no computer is smart enough to, to understand uh, human speech in that way yet. Um, but um, they are all, um, you get, you get uh, things happening that happen the same in human languages. You get dialects. Um, you get languages that get smushed together, so you get creoles and pidgin languages. Um, and you get uh, languages that you think ought to be understandable to, uh, to two different people, but they aren't. Uh, you, get you get languages that have the same name but uh, are, are different from each other. You get languages that have different names but are really essentially the same language. Um, so all the processes that happen uh, as natural languages e evolve um, through time uh, happen in computer languages too. Now, there, there are some other differences. Uh, natural languages generally are not designed by humans. Uh, they're just designed by the participants. And you say something new, and somebody else says, oh, that's a cool way to say it. And, and the next thing you know, everyone is, is, is saying it because it's shiny. Uh, 
Uh, there's one. Um, but um, you know, computer languages tend to have uh, explicit designers. But if, if, a, if a computer language is well designed, uh, the computer language designer stays out of, out of the face of the programmer and gives the programmer ways, various ways of uh, having the flexibility that they would have in natural language to pick one way of saying things or another. Um, and to the extent that they can um, uh, give that flexibility, sort of give an artistic medium to the pro programmer to uh, be creative. Um, to that extent, um, people can be, take, take great joy in, in uh, writing a computer program in the same way they might take great joy in writing a, a poem or a play. Mm -hmm.